Hi and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a series of stickers in Word using assets from the internet and also how to align all text in text boxes and how to align all of these stickers. So let's open a new document and the first thing to do is go to insert text box, click on the drop down and select draw text box, click and just draw out a box. Next we want to ensure this is a square, so make sure the box is selected. Go to Shape Format and over here you've got some dimensions. So I'm going to select the top one and just select 5. Go to the bottom one, select it and press 5 and then press Enter and then you'll have a perfect square. If I deselect you can see that perfect square. Next I'm going to click inside, click again, you'll see your cursor. Now you can begin to type and then we'd like to customize this text for this text box. So select the text by clicking and dragging across it or you can simply just select the box without the cursor being in the box, go to the home tab, then go to the fonts and then you can simply scroll down and select from any of the fonts that you have in your software. I've actually selected this one called Mistral and as you can see that text is quite small so I can go to this tool here which is increase font size and just keep clicking until the font is the perfect size for your sticker. Now you'll notice that towards the end as it gets bigger there's quite a big jump between this number here and the next number which is 72. If you want something in between that you can select this box here select the numbers and then perhaps choose a different font size and press enter and you therefore can get your perfect font size. Now you'll notice that the text is at the very top of my text box and for example if I put my cursor inside and I press the return key to push it down you can see it pushes it too far. So the solution to this is to adjust the margins. To do that make sure the box is selected go to shape format and go all the way over here to format pane. Make sure you're on the shape options here and then go down to the layer and properties icon. Now you can access all of the margins here. If I go to top margin and I go to the increase arrow and just click, you can see each time I click my text moves down that box. And you'll have to do this by eye and preference and then sometimes your text will look as if it's slightly over to the right or the left. If so, once again, you can use the margin increase and decrease arrows to move that text left and right. I think this is quite a crucial tool to use when using text boxes and trying to accurately place your text within that box. You can use all of these to make sure that it's perfectly placed. The next thing is to insert some kind of graphic behind this text. So in order to access lots of different graphics, if we just hop onto the internet to this website here, pixabay.com, it's all free. You can go down to the search bar here. You can search for anything you want, but I'm going to search for paint splash blue and press enter. And then if I scroll down, you can see there's lots of different options that I can choose from. But you should be wise in trying to select something with this checkable background as therefore it's an isolated design and there's no background. If you want everything to be white and a white sticker, that's fine. You can select something with a white background like this one here and that will be absolutely fine. So I've selected this one here, so if you click on it, go to download, click on the drop down and you can select from all different sizes here. Just select one of those and then just click download. I've already downloaded mine, so if we now go to insert pictures, click on the drop down and go to picture from file. Now you can see I'm in my downloads, so just select the picture you've downloaded and click insert. Now when your picture is inserted into Word you won't be able to move it so if I click and pull you can see I won't be able to move it. So to solve that problem make sure it's selected, 
go up to picture format and go to wrap text. You can select any of these options here, but for this particular demonstration, you need to select behind text. Then you can move it behind your text. Now you can see the problem I've now got is that my sticker has got a white background and I won't be able to see this graphic. So to solve that problem, select the sticker, go to shape format, go to this icon here, which is outline, go across to this icon here, that's shape fill, click on the drop down and select no fill. Now, once you've popped this behind this text here, you'll find it quite difficult to select again. So just hover over it with it selected, check if it's big enough or small enough. If not, you can drag it back out, increase or decrease the size of it, and then pop it back behind that text. Now, if you do find that you release it, deselect it, and you want to reselect it, you'll see that I can only select the sticker and I'm struggling to select this bit here. Now you can move the sticker or you can select the sticker, go to shape format and then over here we've got something called selection pane. If you click on that we've got another menu come, that comes up over this side and this is your two elements that you've inserted into your document. We've got our text box so if I click the eyeball you can see that's the selection and picture two is obviously the selection behind. Now currently box one is selected, but if we want to select the background, you can see I can select picture two. Now I won't be able to move it with my mouse because as you see, as soon as I click on that area, it selects the sticker. So if I select picture two and want to move it, I'm gonna to have to use my arrow keys on my keyboard. Now, if you want to resize it again, then what you can do is move it all the way down. And then once it's out of the way of this sticker, then I can move it. Now, if you feel as though your sticker is a little bit too bold, then you can reduce the transparency of it. So select it, go to picture format. Then at the top here, we've got a transparency tool. And if I click on the arrow, you can see you've got a variety of different options to make that background or that background graphic a little less bold and more transparent. So if I choose this one here, you can now see that my text stands out a bit more, but we have got this faint background. So whatever graphic you do choose online, you don't have to make it too bold. You can just make it a very faint background if you choose. So in order to line everything up now, once you've made your sticker, we need to make these two a complete group. So once again, we'll go over to the selection pane and we can select the top one, hold down your command or control key and select the bottom one. You can see now they are both selected. Once you've done that, go to picture format, go to group and select group. Now they're both all one group, but as you can see, my picture is now covering my text. Now you might think that's great, I really quite like that, that's fine, you can leave it. If that does happen, go back up to group, select ungroup, then you can see the picture here has jumped to the top, click and just drag it down under the text box. You can see now it's gone back behind that text. Once again, you can select them both, go to picture format, go to group, and select group. So now you've got your sticker all customized. Now we need to produce more of them and line them up on your page. So I'm gonna move this up to the top. And then the quickest way to copy and paste these easily is to select it, hold down your Alt or Option key, click and drag. Now you've selected two, do exactly the same. So you've now got two and then we can do exactly the same, but we only need one. Deselect, reselect one and delete it, and then pop this one down at the bottom right here. Now you want to select them all by holding down the command or control key. Go up to layout, go to align, and then go down to distribute vertically that will create an equal space between all of these stickers. 
then go to align, align to center. Now they're all lined up, we can go to group and select group. Then copy and paste this group in exactly the same way. Hold down the Alt or Option key, click and drag. We can do that one more time. We don't need the fourth row. So deselect them both, select this one and delete it. And then you can move this one gently over to the side here. Then we can select them all. So hold down that Command or Control key again. Once again, go to Align, distribute horizontally creating an equal space between them all. Go to align, align to middle, and then go to group and select group. If you want to make sure they're aligned on your page, go to align, align to center and align, align to middle and deselect. Those are your stickers all perfectly placed on your page. Now obviously they're not a sticker yet because you've got to place them on the sticker paper but if you've got A4 sticker paper all you need to do now is just simply print them out and then cut them out either manually or with a machine like a Cricut. So I hope those tools and techniques have helped you today. If they have please like and subscribe and have a great day.